Doing, yeah, man. Man. Sweet, we gotta man. get straight to it, nigga. You pulled up on superstar time, man. I'm just warming it up, so nah, we won't be all stiff. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> no, nah, I be on my nigga to, shit yeah. too, man. I'm glad Joe has his baby. To nah, slide man, through, for man. sure, man. This shit right down the street from my studio. You know Player, yeah, because right I remember what uh, you know, uh, you threw Perico slid. I think y'all was in communication or something. Yeah, that's yeah. how I peep. I'm like, yeah. okay, yeah, no mamas. That's why yeah. I'm glad I'm tapped in with all the players and real niggas. Nah, yeah, hell yeah, man. You slid up there. That, hey, that, that, that show was rocking, bro. Which one? Which one you come to? That was the uh, the eighty five. Yeah, that one was going crazy. That's hella funny. Tommy mean to tell you, my my pops made it in the video. It, Cause we was my parents was backstage. With, yeah, yeah, with me. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah so y'all yeah. was making a video. Yeah, so Pop was yeah. in the video. He was in there. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> that nigga's like, yeah. yeah, nigga, I'm in J Stone. Shit. Yeah, that's all. Right. Yeah, I'm like, I'm. I told, I told the director, I'm like, man, fuck it, man. Let's just, let's just get it on the spot, like right here. Like, that was wrong. Cause he, cause he flew out here mm. just to shoot some content for me that whole weekend. You feel me? Oh, so I'm okay. like, shit. He like Stone. Let's do some day in the life shit for this video. Cause we end up shooting like. Like five videos. He was out here for a weekend. We shot like five, six videos. Damn. Yeah, I went crazy, bro. That's like, how you you work smarter, not harder. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Because when you try to think too hard about this video, it should be like this. So I should spend this hella bread on this video. I should, do, man. Sometimes that shit is straight on the spot. Like uh -huh. how you how you living just yeah. like right. That's that's be the shit right there. Was you that was your first time doing it like that? Yeah, cause that was raw. That I was, was raw. I was yeah. meaning to tell you like that. Yeah. I didn't start doing some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, I only no. I only rapped to the camera when I was uh backstage. But the rest of that video was just yeah. like me pulling up to different spots. Like you know what I mean? Just like some day in the life type shit. That's raw. Trey, we recording? Yeah. All right, so yeah, that's that's hella raw though. That, I think that was the first time we actually physically met, huh? Yup, hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Cause we, you know, we familiar with each other. You feel me? But like until that was the official, like yeah. Oh, mamas, yeah, yeah cause that matter. You know, you can fuck with a nigga from afar oh, but until mama. you meet a nigga. Then you be like, yeah, are we yeah, locked in for sure? It's like doing time. It's like you know, doing time with a motherfucker. You feel uh -huh. me? Like. You you would be cool with a motherfucker. You would think like, yeah, man, that's my partner until you move in the cell with him, bro. Mm. Until you actually move in the cell with him and you like, damn, this nigga don't know how to live, bro. He don't know how to jail. <laughs> nigga don't know how to clean up. This nigga. Swear. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, be like that, bro. Like, I always say that. Like, yeah, never know a nigga like yeah, that. And I, and I think this air, like, losing <clears throat> track of the importance of meeting each other. Yeah. You feel me? Because the internet, everybody be seeing each other on internet in contact. Yeah. And it's like niggas be stamping niggas too soon. No, oh, this a sure. real nigga. Yeah, I'll be like, yeah, like I know yeah, of, like, bro. I, yeah, I can't vouch for too many yeah, niggas. Like, I say that yeah, all I don't time. do that. I swear. He says that all nah, you're not supposed like, yeah, to cool. because, I, man, I'm trying to tell you, like, I didn't vouch for a lot of people, and you know they wasn't the ones. Yeah. And you know I'm thinking, you know, I'm just going off. Then you of feel what silly I, later. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, so you know, I, I ain't vouching for nobody unless I know you. Mm. you know what I mean, from the sandbox, I gotta know, like. Y'all gotta know you actually, you know what I mean? Fuck yeah, around with the yeah, fuck around. exactly, you feel yeah. me? Like, if you ain't did no buster shit, I gotta know, you feel me? You might be. You got them same rules from rap niggas? Uh, yeah, man, I mean, you know, it apply, it, it definitely applied to the ones that live that life, that wanna, that, that you know what I mean? That's, That's rap out here rap. politicking, you feel me? Mm. Don't be out here uh, politicking to get politicked on, you know what I mean? Or mm -hmm. when it's your turn to get politicked on, don't run and hide from it, nigga. Go ahead and accept your, you know what I mean? Mm. All right, we got to go, you know what I mean? That's a perfect introduction. My first question. Hey, yeah. this is the Cali Kickback. You understand me? It's yeah. your boy, Louis yeah. Bell, man. You feel me? Yeah. You already know we got a special guest. L.A. legend in the motherfucking building, man. Yeah. The one and only. South Central on yeah. Jay Stone. Y'all yeah. talking about yeah. Can we get a little clap for my nigga, man? Y'all talking about yeah. Christina What's Mackey, that? how you feeling? I feel good. Man, we in here. It's crazy that we just chopping game naturally, talking about what we was talking about, right? Yeah, nah, for sure. We ain't getting none of that on, on, on camera. Man. You feel me? That was that was too real. You feel that, me? But we, we was, you was just talking about, you know, what we did catch is that, you know, not stamping. You feel me? Everybody. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If them rap niggas talk a certain way. Yeah. Feel me? I, 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 you come to L.A. and want to move around with Jay Stone Man. and all money in. For sure. That matters about, you know, if you know if you did some buster shit. No, nah, for sure. And then we're going to move around a certain way, bro. I can't be on no goofy time with no mm -hmm. niggas. Like, you feel me? Like, if, 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 if you're going to fuck with me, bro, and we outside... We ain't on no goofy time. And not saying you can't have fun. Nigga, have fun. Live life for sure. Like, yeah, I'm but with you that. with like, us, nigga. Yeah, I li yeah, but nigga, we ain't on no goofy shit, bro. You feel me? So, 
That's just that's nigga can't be like doing it. the nay nay and shit with y'all, nigga. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, nigga. You yeah, do that shit over there, yeah, nigga. <laughs> that's hella funny, cause uh, remember we were just talking. I was talking about um, cause we was talking about P. Yeah. Cause being from the Bay Area, you know what I'm saying? That's that's our culture. Yeah, for you sure. You know, player pimp. Yeah. You know, that's our culture. Yeah. So um, I'm very like uh, protective of culture, cause I come from an area that has culture. Yeah. So I know L. A. Culture is. Gang banging culture. Yeah. Y'all started this gangster yeah. shit when it comes to gang banging yeah, and all that. For sure. <clears throat> so my whole question is like, how do you feel about out of towners that um that's not from the culture yeah. but banging the same shit y'all could necessarily be banging? Um shit like saying the same set meaning in a sense like i've been traveling on my tour and everything and i've been meeting a lot of people it's going like, to every state it's like this you know the same rules apply here just like it do there you know even though they got their own politics like we got our own politics you feel me like um you know long as long as long as the same rules apply and you know like i said we ain't on no goofy time we ain't doing no buster shit you feel what i'm saying like you know, it's all good. You feel me? I got, I got, I got homies from out of town. Uh -huh. Sets that's from here. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you know, Davies. You know what I mean? One, of, one of the homies. You know what I mean? Shout out Davies. Yeah, I like from Davies. the East Coast. You yeah. feel me? So, but like, it then got so worldwide to where it's like everybody doing it now. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like, it's like, damn, you don't even see the real ones out here, like. Big B's and big C's and red flags and blue flags, like all in the camera and shit like that. And we can't really do they they gonna look at the real ones and be like, man, get out of here. You feel me? They gonna want the ones that ain't really from here to like put them on it, put them to on commercialize the this this exactly, shit. Exactly. You feel Cause me? I call it gentrifying. I yeah. feel like they're gentrifying gangbanging. Yeah. Cause me being from the Bay Area, when they did that push a <laughs> piece shit, I was offended. <laughs> I feel you cause nigga, I'm that's what I'm saying, bro. Like I grew up around a lot of Bay Area niggas. I done did time with Bay Area niggas. I didn't heard pushing P my whole life. You feel me? Like, that's what niggas, P this, P that. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Like, <laughs> come on, man. It's like, in, it's not on. It's exactly sometimes so. both. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, when I heard when I heard it from the industry, it was just like, you know, maybe they get it from, you know, some of us hanging around with us you feel me they hear work they hear certain words and you know yeah. they take it to the industry yeah. and they think that they heard it there first but exactly it's just like it's just like uh what was that dance uh the jerk mm -hmm. the jerk you mm -hmm. feel me like the jerk was like the hit y'all rolling like you know what i mean that was our that was like the rolling dance our little you know what i mean we we'll do our little shit you feel oh, me and really? then they took it and commercialized it and put a little twist to it and called it the jerk. You feel me? You lying? So so the jerk was like some hood shit. The jerk was the tiny log boogie, and real <laughs> ones, real ones, real ones. No, real ones are vouch for that, my uh, nigga. Like you feel me? It was like, it was like, I mean, you know, it had a couple of dances. The rolling dance, the tiny log boogie. You feel me? Like. You know, it had a it had a couple of dances. You feel okay. me? Okay. So, but they gentrified it. They gentrified it, bro. Oh, kicked us out. Kicked us made out. Made it goofy. And made it, you know what I mean? And made it, and made it the jerk. And then here you come, all the, all the, all, all the, the jerks and the rejects. So, do y'all still that. do that dance? Nah, we don't do it no more because it didn't got it didn't got. It didn't got a little. It got gentrified. Wait. Yeah, you feel me? It got gentrified. <laughs> you feel me? Like. <laughs> But they should you know. keep score on this three. How many times you say that? <laughs> no, nah, for real, cause like I'm, I'm, I'm just a huge fan of cultures. You feel yeah. me? Like I love Memphis. I love Houston. Right. I love yeah. New York. You know what I'm saying? I love Atlanta, cause they got their own culture. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But it's like, I just don't like when. Uh, a culture still from another culture and then it's like nigga don't try to act like you didn't get this from mm -hmm. I mean it's cool it's cool to kind of like get shit from it. we all gonna get shit from each other mm -hmm. you feel what I'm saying but like don't take it and run with it yeah. you feel me like give niggas props or like so do you feel like he took it and ran with it with Push and P no because with P you can't just Take it, you know what I'm talking about. You got really live that shit. Yeah, nigga, just it gotta be in you. That shit, that ain't no, yeah. it ain't a trend. This shit is forever in life. You know what I'm talking about. Fact. And it ain't cause, <clears throat> it ain't like on no like cause you dealing with hella women or you a pimp or nothing. It's just player. It's about how you go about situations. It's ism. It's just yeah, mm -hmm. you know. So okay, you, you know. said they ain't pushing P out there. Where you at? No. They don't nah, push pee in Colorado. They, nah, they pushing a little they're pee. It's snow bunnies in and Colorado. Pushing, Somebody yeah. out there pimping. If yeah, they are, so, it's, yeah, very, yeah. it's very it's very minimal doses of pee. If there is some pee being yeah. pushed in Colorado, it's 
peculiar P. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It ain't no big P. P uh, low, lowercase P. Yeah, yeah it's some yeah. tiny shit going on. All right. What's happening? It's your boy, Lewis Belt. This episode is sponsored by High Roller. Y'all go tap in. This motherfucking brand is owned by a black woman. Stop playing. Cannabis, we got all type of flowers and everything, you feel me? So y'all go get the merch. Merch is available right now, too, you feel me? Go click the link in the description. Thank you. I love everybody. Pat, <laughs> um, I um, I watched the interview. Uh, uh, rest in peace, my nigga Nipsey Hussle, man. You know what I'm talking about? Nipsey Great. Nip Hussle, man. Yes, Lord. You feel me? Um, I was watching an interview about... Uh, and Nip was talking about how he um, went out of town and somebody tried to gang bang on him. Yeah. Like, 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 ooh, ooh, you feel me? Yeah. And Nip like, nigga, nigga, I'm really that, nigga. Yeah, like, you sitting up here, like, asking a nigga where he from. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, hold on, cuz. You still yeah, experience like, that to this day? Nah. You too famous now, though, but nah, what about not, the come up? Nah, I mean, not even that, because, like, places I go in New York or out of town and shit like that, I know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. And, you know, niggas is expecting me, you feel right. me? So. And, like, ain't nobody gonna walk up on me on no goofy time, like, hey, cuz, where you from? Unless he from another set. Unless he from another oh, set okay. out there, and he don't really know who a nigga is, so he might just want to know, you feel me, or some shit like that. But, yeah, I'll I be like, cuz, hold on, cuz, what's up with you? Yeah, <laughs> you but me? a nigga told me he was rolling 60s, and he was from Alabama. Alabama? Nigga was from Alabama. <laughs> yeah, And we man. was in Atlanta. And yeah. I'm really, I, I'm not from L.A., yeah. so I'm not, I'm not, Voucher a lot. I can't argue with you. Yeah. But I'm like, nigga, how? Yeah. They say it in Denver. They say that that but I it makes sense though, right? Because we're But so how close. you from a street that you never been to? I mean, they have the we same. We got street. homies that go out of town, you feel me, and like set up shop. You know how it is, man. Yeah. You go, you know, you set up shop on, on, on a nigga block, you know what I mean? Like and dope. Yeah, you feel me? And you know. Got the spot rolling, nigga. You got the Damn. spot rolling. You got some goons out there. You got a couple of soldiers. So it be hella niggas that you don't know be walking up on you like, what's up, bro? Rolling. Yeah, it be like that. <laughs> but I'll be, I'll be, nah, but I'll be, I'll put them niggas to the side, though. I'll be wanting, I don't just be like, all right, for sure. Yeah, you, all right. Okay, so, so you do kind of require an explanation. Yeah, I, you know. Yeah, I, okay. I kind of fact check a little bit. Oh, mama. Yeah. You can only do so much if everybody's saying it, then like whatever. But if they're not causing harm or damage, right? Right, because there's so many homies where we at. Uh huh. Here, you uh -huh. know what I mean. In L.A., like, man, I'd be damned if a nigga go somewhere else and don't know nothing. You feel me? Don't know what's going on. You feel me? Because I travel the world a lot. You feel oh, me? So, you know, I'm tapped in, and the niggas ain't tapped in. They tapped out. Oh, mama. Yeah. You feel <laughs> me? Yeah. yeah. See, that's P. That's ism yeah. right there, man. Exactly. You ain't tapped in. You tapped out. God yep. damn it, me, you, huh? Yeah. What's your first? Uh, what's your favorite place you uh, like to travel? Or like vacation wise. Where'd Jay Stone like to go? Vacation, vacation. wise, yeah. shit, man. I like Hawaii. Mm. You know what I mean? That shit, that shit player. I it's never been there. Yeah, it's that's pee, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can pop pee. your collar out there. I've never yeah. been sure. there. You can relax probably out there, right? Yeah, you don't gotta yeah. worry about then, too much. But I, I I like it because there's a lot of places that I didn't go yet that I know I wanna go. So mm -hmm. it's like, man, I got I gotta I gotta touch down. Have you so been to Dubai? Nah. Nah, see if I, I would have went there, that'd have been that'd have been that'd have been my number one. Now that's P. Yeah, that's P for sure. But I'm gonna bro. tell you what ain't P what? about <laughs> the bar. You smoke? Yeah, are you yeah. like you have to smoke every day? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm you're tripping. not gonna make it. I'm and tripping. it's it's such I, a beautiful... I get angry if I if I can't smoke. Can after I tell a certain you something? Time. It's such a beautiful place and it's such a magical I'm not even being funny. It's yeah. such a magical experience. It's so much power and money and wealth and success there. Nah, I know. That you, you have ain't even to gonna go. think about it. You, you ain't even gonna think, think about, about it. If you wanna have yeah. a drink, you can have a drink, I but you, you won't even think yeah. about it. You gonna wanna put on their clothes. My homie my homie BH, boss hog, he out there in uh Saudi Arabia right now. Like, oh, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that That's, right now. Nah, I'm, he he's showing me some some shit out there. It's yeah. lovely out there. Mm -hmm. I know you probably don't want to go. You feel me? Because you know it's it's they on right around. now. Yeah, they it's on around. right now. It's it's yeah. it's really on right now. It's but dangerous. uh, you know that ain't stop that ain't stopping the growth, man. You yeah. feel me? Because if, right. if 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 we let any of that that we see on TV stop us from we we we'll never go nowhere. We'll never right. They try to do that with we'll Africa, yeah. showing us them janky ass commercials with them flies bro, and shit on a little bro, black they boy. They fucked us up with that, bro. That's the only vision we had since kids, no, bro, for real. of Africa. We didn't janky. know, bro. The we didn't flies. know Africa was that beautiful, bro. We didn't know, we didn't know we had kings like Mansa Musa. You know what I mean, like. Back in the days, like nigga, that that was the king of Mali, nigga. Yeah, you know what I mean? Running boys, shit. Boys, you know what I mean? Chicken. Come on, running shit. 
wealth. Like if we all and ran got out Europe, there, got and Europe just looking it. high. You got Europe looking pee. Yeah. You know what I mean? Gave them gold and built they shit. You feel me? Like so, they had us thinking, bro. Like that ain't the place to be. Man, I never wanted to go to Africa growing <laughs> up. Me seeing neither. Them commercials. I'm not gonna lie. Nah, that's sure. the main spot sad. I want to go. It now sad. you can really like. It ain't now. I mean, it been like that. You feel me? Like these folks been going out there, bro. And, but now and, we know. Yeah, we know. And gold still produce out there. You mm -hmm. feel me? Mm. Like I know somebody from East Africa that know about this spot in Africa that just gold just produce in the ground. Like you can still go dig that shit up. What What made you want to uh, travel the world a lot? Because uh, one thing I noticed about uh, being in L. A. Everything come to y'all. Y'all yeah. ain't gotta go. Y'all really ain't gotta fly in the place and get tapped in and connect because everybody come to this motherfucker and they gonna tap in with y'all. Nah, regardless. facts, yeah, facts. But still, like, even if you like, you, you still gotta move around because you gotta, you gotta feel what that feel like going out of town. Like, cause we here, bro. We always here. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. we going we gonna embrace the the motherfuckers that we fuck with that come out of town. We gonna roll the red carpet, the blue carpet out for them. You feel me? So when we go out of town. They gonna do the same for us, yeah. so we get that we get that love, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Cause yeah. we we the ones rolling the carpets out all the time. You feel me? For everybody that come down and tap in, you feel me? Yeah. So when we go when we go out there and fuck with them, it just be like yeah, you know, y'all might as well reap the benefits y'all laid down. Yeah, mm -hmm. you feel me? So and I used to, I, I did a lot of time. You feel me? So mm -hmm. I came home. And I touched a lot of states within a month. Nip took me on tour, the Crenshaw tour. So I touched a gang of states within a month. And I was in a cell looking at the world map like, I want to go here, I want to go there, I want to go there. But nigga didn't know when or how, like, you feel me? Until the nigga went on tour and touched all them spots within a month. And I'm like, oh, yeah. What? Were you, when yeah, you I got to double back. Like, when you was on tour? Because when I was on tour, I literally would, went to the show, went to my hotel. But, like, were you kind of moving around a little bit? Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, certain spots we in and out. Yeah, you know what I mean. But if we got like a day off, or, like you know what I mean. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go That's explore. Was that the Crenshaw control. tour? That was the Crenshaw tour. Yeah. So when, cause I know in your verse, uh, cause I, I ain't gonna lie, nigga, I've been slapping that shit. Cause uh, oh, what, that I was in high right? school. I think I was in high school or I just graduated. Yeah. But literally, when Crenshaw came out, I remember me vividly really start my marathon yeah, you feel me yeah, like in comedy yeah feel me so it's like i was slapping that crenshaw album crazy so i good, know your verse you feel me take. i'm jay Stone. that was a good I take to start home. your marathon you, my nigga you it's, you it's, it's 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 a lot of pee on there my nah, nigga. for real <laughs> yeah. and I, I really related to it because um you know the independence yeah. i feel like y'all was because i've been knowing uh nipsey i've been knowing uh jay stone everybody I've been knowing the whole all money in for a minute but i didn't become a fan until y'all really start talking about the in independence. Yeah. Because up in the Bay Area, we don't gang bang. Yeah. So and, and, and y'all got all the independence. Y'all, y'all don't gang bang. But y'all, nigga, y'all gang bang out there, nigga. Y'all be y'all be y'all niggas be fighting. Y'all niggas be fighting over blocks, clicks. my nigga. Y'all niggas yeah. be fighting. Y'all niggas be fighting over blocks, nigga. Y'all niggas be hustling out there, nigga. Y'all niggas be knock it off. To the police, that's gang. Yeah, but it ain't though. But, but culturally, guess, yeah, it ain't a gang. Culturally, y'all got y'all own from. shit. You know what I mean? And I respect that. You feel me? Like, that's, 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 that is what it is. I wish a lot of other cultures would stick to their culture and not, you know what I mean? Like, y'all the only ones that's really sticking to that shit. Like, you no. feel me? Like, yeah. a lot and, of parts of the Bay. Yeah, and I feel like that's why, like, uh, we appreciate, like, with all money in it, what y'all did for the culture because, yeah. We got to feel, that was the first time, uh, like, for me, for my personal experience, of getting the feel of the real L.A., yeah. but, like, understanding it, though. Yeah. Like, it was the way how y'all was translating, because y'all yeah. was really talking about hustling Summertime and that cutlass. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. He was talking on it. anthem. For sure. So, when, when you say L.A., like, like, that song right there, he painted the picture of how it was in L.A., like, for him growing up, like, just being in the hood, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that shit was hella raw. So yeah. it's like, um, I noticed, like, did y'all know that Crenshaw album was going to be that big? Nah, because, see, a lot of them songs on Crenshaw was being recorded for Victory Lap. Mm. So that's why you, 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 you hear on the song, I say, Victory Lap, tonight is the night. This is shit I waited for my whole fucking life. Because when, mm. before I recorded the verse, Nip was like, he like, hey, bro, uh, this verse is for uh, Victory Lap. I'm putting this shit on Victory Lap. You know what I mean? So, you know, go ahead and knock it out. 
You feel me? Mm. So I'm two bars in. Right before I said, this the shit I waited for my whole fucking life. He like, hey, bro, hurry up with this verse. I'm finna put this shit out right now. Mm. I'm like, oh, yeah, he ain't play. I said, this the shit I waited for my whole fucking life. And that shit was out like within the next hour, bro. My Twitter was going crazy. For real? Oh, me, I thought it was a victory lap. Yeah. That's yeah. Fine. That's crazy. That's I never fine. noticed that until you just said that. You yeah. did say that on that verse. Yeah. Yeah, so that's... Uh, and we did that in what? 2000... Had to be 13. Because I graduated high school in 2012. Yeah, I, had, I was fresh out. I had just came on. Damn, so how yeah. long you was down? I was down for like two years on that one, though. Just and like... So you was down for two years, right? Yeah. And then you come out and then you hop on that verse with Nip, right? Yeah. Was Nip popping like that the two years before? Nip was already selling out shows, going out of town. Like he had just dropped the marathon. And that was supposed to be uh South Central State of Mind. You feel me? He had just got to deal with Epic. You know what I mean? Yeah, and he was gonna put the South Central State of Mind album out. But you know, it, you know, they it was taking a while for the album to drop. So, you know, Nip was like, you know, I can just go back to being independent. And they let bro go back to being independent. And he put the marathon out. You mm, feel me? Yeah. And that shit, that shit went crazy. Yeah. You know yeah, I mean? that's that that's that introduction yeah, to the world. Yeah, that shit went crazy. But, like, selling that Crenshaw CD for 100, bro. Did, he, just, did Nipsey ask you about that, his that idea, put, before he did it? That just shit on a whole nother level. Did Nipsey ask you about it before he did it, or you just found out? Like, I mean, he uh, of course he asked people what he, what you know, what I mean, like what they think about it. Even though I know he already had his mind made up of what he wanted to do, you mm -hmm. feel me? But like he just wanted to see, like where niggas' heads was at. Some people didn't believe it. They was like, "This nigga crazy." Bro. I ain't gonna lie, I love Nip, nigga. On my yeah. mama, I would have told thought, that nigga, yeah. "You lose your damn mind." Yeah. yeah, yeah. He did it, and that shit. I worked. had faith in bro, though. I, I didn't, I, ain't, I ain't go against. Not that though. I'm like, shit, nigga, come on. You felt like it was going to work? Yeah. That's good, yeah, bro. Yeah, for sure. But that helped me believe more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's why, like. Because you got to think, like, bro already had loyal fans with the Crenshaw gear. You feel me? Like, yeah. come on. They, 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 buying, they buying tickets. They buying shirts. Like, come on. Damn, bro, that's hella raw. Yeah, I, I and he gave away so much free music. You think you think they ain't gonna be happy to buy a hundred dollars? Yeah, on mamas. Right. Yeah. I mean, spend a hundred for the CD. You right. feel me? It was proud to pay. Made them niggas feel like they was proud to pay. Well, y'all was Slauson boys, right? Before y'all yeah. was all money in. Yeah. Tell me about that, cause I just discovered that like two years ago, or yeah. probably like a year ago, and I was yeah. arguing my partners, and nobody knew. Yeah, Slauson boys was a yeah. We was a group, bro, mm -hmm. and. Like, I'll be there for, like, a lot of the recording or some shit like that. And then I'll go to jail and, you know, they'll put the music out. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be in jail. They didn't already recorded, like, some new shit. You feel me? Like, Swear. So I I missed a lot of the Slauson Boy waves. You feel me? But I was there, like, right there in the beginning when it started. All that shit. Man. What like, made y'all not be a group anymore? Uh, it was a... Uh, it was it was it was when Nip decided to change his management, you know, feel me, and like, like go solo, do his own thing. And know? how did that make you feel? Did y'all have an understanding? I mean, we was all solo at the end of the day. You feel me? Like all, all of us are solo artists. You feel me? But we like, let's do the group thing. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. let's do the Slauson Boy thing. And while we was doing that, we was still like doing our own albums and shit, working on our own albums. So oh, okay. it wasn't really like we like like broke up or nothing like that you mm -hmm. feel me it's yeah. just we just start running our own laps mm, no hating mm -hmm. shit and none of that because y'all always as as a as a clique y'all still always had y'all individual lane yeah nah for sure yeah cause for one sure. thing um I feel like the streets love who you are respect you as a man and one of the reasons I'm a big fan of you and I respect you as a man because you what you are every real nigga and every entrepreneur need as a friend. Respect. You know what I'm saying? Respect. Like, for sure. <clears throat> when when we see like you and Nipsey and all that shit, it's like it's one thing to be like, you feel me? Like, damn, I want to be going crazy like Nip. Yeah. But it's another thing to be like, damn, I I want my nigga to be there like Jay yeah, Stone type yeah, shit. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. And it's sure. like y'all really was winning together. Yeah. And it's like it was just like it gave real niggas hope. Like. You can you can make it with your partners, mm -hmm. and y'all can you can get to the you can get the highest level and stay at your partners. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, but it's for like sure. it take two. 
Yeah. It's like Nip got to be yeah. a real nigga to not, you feel me, ever go against the grain. Nah, for sure. But you got to be a real nigga to know. It, it really all on your character, who you are, bro. Like, like, because none of that shit matter. Like, how long you knew a person or who you think this person is. Like, if he loyal, he loyal. If They're he ain't. Loyal, yeah. yeah, you yep. feel me? He ain't, he ain't. You feel me? And sometimes, you know, you know, uh, people going to weed themselves out after a while. You feel what I'm saying? Like. You fuck with a motherfucker long enough, like they gon' they gon' weed they say if 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 they do, you mm -hmm. feel me? And like we always say, like Nip knew how to pick his team, you feel me? And you know, it ain't too many of us fell off. You know what I mean? That's Damn. fire. Yeah. That that show a lot about y'all neighborhood and what y'all stood for as a collective. Yeah. You feel me? Cause it's like, man, it ain't it's hard to even bring one nigga, let alone like five. Yeah, because you know, a lot of niggas they 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 It's different, bro, because some other people might form a clique or a group or do some business just based on the business and the money and shit like that. Like, like we 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 knew each other before the before the music. You know what I mean? We was all hanging together. You feel me? Like on some on some on some bone thug shit. Like we are, we, you know what I mean? Like we've been thugging thug already. Yeah, shit, like nigga. we already been thugging. So us doing what we was doing, like with the music, like. Stepping away from the streets a little bit and showing the little homies too. Like, nigga, y'all could do that shit too. Y'all niggas ain't gotta be on the block all day. Like, we showed them, like, putting posters up, CDs, having CDs, passing passing CDs out. Like, oh, you rap? All right, come on, come to the studio. We're gonna, you know what I mean? We're yeah, gonna see how hard you is, bro. And see, yeah, and see, and, you know, yeah. put the music out if it's dope. You feel me? And I think that's what bro was doing. Like, you know, and that's how we that's how we became who we was bro just yeah. like being 100 i don't think like i don't think it was something that he was trying to do i think it was just something that happened mm -hmm. organically bro. <clears throat> and did you feel like because a lot of times you know you can start with people but then the more um whoever grow out of the click say if it's you know five of five niggas right and then it's like say that one get a little head or having his motion a little bit more than everybody else it seemed like the higher that person go he lose them people mm -hmm. but yeah. i seen like a clip of snoop dogg saying that shit like yeah. about growth like you know it you know this is when your homies when you start right yeah. and then the more you grow they gotta come up or yeah. you right. come down and fuck up your shit right. For sure i was trying to figure out i was just so curious like it seemed like nip didn't come down so how was like how did y'all be able to elevate without stepping on each other's toes? Um, you know, we just had like me always all uh, you know, I ran my laps with Nip uh -huh. and I always ran my own laps. You know what I mean? A lot of a lot of niggas didn't do that. They 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 just just ran laps with or not even run laps or, with or, bro. Or they were just around. Lap, yeah, yeah, they just around. Hey, yeah, exactly. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. motherfuckers just around. You feel me? Yeah. But like if you're around and you actually progress and it's like, how you gonna be around somebody like, you know what I mean, that that got the game and got the knowledge and got like ways to, to maneuver and you not, you not yeah, yeah, and you not applying it. You feel me? Like bro used to always tell me like, hey bro, these same sh shoulders that I'm, you know what I mean? These same niggas I'm rubbing shoulders with bro, like you can holler at them too. Like right. you feel me? Like, right. you know what I yeah, mean? But like, it's on you to say, I'm finna really go holler at this nigga. And you yeah, gotta you believe feel me? that you can be there without yeah. him not being there. You know exactly. what I'm saying? I think but see, he knew people, he... Go ahead. No, no, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I was just saying, I think a lot of people think that, you know, when one person is got a head start, like you said, in the group, mm -hmm. they don't think that there's enough room. But if I'm bringing you with me, it's your job to wear your shoes. Yeah, for sure. Wear my shoes. For sure. You, know? you gotta sure. do you. Yeah. You can sure. be right here with me. There's enough room on my bus for you. Yeah. But... I'm not about to just bring you along because you want to be on the bus. Yeah. You know, be a benefit, dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wear your own shoes. Yeah. yeah. That's facts. So, you know, bro knew, he knew what type of person I was too. So when I would meet these dudes, you feel me? Like, it was always like 100. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's and cool. I wasn't on goofy time too. You oh, can't, mama. you can't, you can't, you can't tell everybody that, bro. They'll go be saying some weird shit, bro. They'll yeah. be reporting back to you like, bro, your partner is. Yeah. Like bro, don't bring that, don't bring that nigga around. Oh, mama, no nigga talking about yeah. Nip told me to pull up to you to the house. Like, yeah, like nigga, I told yeah, like, Nip he didn't yeah, say nah, that. Yeah, he didn't say all that, bro. Like, feel me? So it's a video going viral right now of a girl saying like, 
I don't want the runner in the group. I don't mm. want the one y'all send to the store. Yeah. But it's a real thing. Like me and my homegirls talk about it. Like there's the boss mm -hmm. and then there's just like other niggas in the group, right? But then yeah. there's but then there's men in the group who handle their business just like the boss, but yeah. are, you know, like sometimes the videographer, he's a boss. Yeah, yeah everybody a sure. boss in their own. He's not for in sure. front of the camera, he's behind it. For but sure. then some people really are just luggage. Like yeah. you just getting carried around by this man's yeah. name. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and I think so a lot of dope. people get inspired by like a nigga like Jay Stone, yeah. they get inspired, yeah. but not knowing but what he really doing. You're not yeah, feeling the role. Exactly. You just next to a nigga exactly. looking like exactly. you Jay Stone. Right. Nigga, you ain't no motherfucking so, Jay Stone. You in you the way eating hella snacks and shit. Yeah. Get out the green room, get nigga. Fat, get real. fat on the low, yeah. huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mama, nigga, make sure a nigga ain't around the corner scoping us out or something. Yeah, nigga, do sure. something. I think you oh, said mama. it best. Like you, you, you run the lap with your partner, but at the same time, you run your own. And yeah, I think for that's sure. Dope. Yeah, yeah, because you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be your own man at the same time. You gotta, yeah. fans gotta love you for who you are, yeah. and they gotta connect to you and your story. As you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 as the individual. Yeah. You feel me? So, you know, and bro understood that. You feel me? Yeah. And I know he respected that I didn't like much yeah. be a shadow you feel me yeah. like Stop. even though I, that's that's my you know what i mean that's my right hand you feel me that's my left hand or whatever you feel me like my bro you feel me but you know yeah you did a good job yeah. as that because outside looking in i never viewed you as just like nipsey partner i viewed you as jay stone yeah. and i knew like nigga that's nipsey partner jay yeah, stone no, type sure. shit yeah. you feel me like <laughs> it, it's it's a it, and um i had like uh I'm a I'm a fan of like only a few rappers. I'm I'm not a person that like find out an artist and then I just fuck with them type yeah. shit. I be had to know everything. Yeah, be, nah, be like, for I'm sure. a fan, you know what I'm saying? Nah, fact. <laughs> yeah, nah, for sure. I mean, so I be had to know niggas partners. Yeah. So I'm watching how you move and shit. Yeah. I'm like, nah, never real nigga. Nah, for you sure. You feel me? I'm yeah. like, you the reason I'm. All right, I feel comfortable. This nigga be my favorite rapper. Nah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, nah, nip one hundred, man. For sure, that nigga always. <laughs> Always kept it solid, man. That's sure. raw. That's raw. You did a good job at you know keeping it solid. And, you know being the motherfucking uh the face of what niggas. Everybody just glorify. Everybody want to be the same nigga. Yeah, the marathon continues, oh, man. Mama's. Like I know, I know, I can never fulfill that man's shoes or ever try to. You know what I mean? Live his legacy or fulfill his like That's not what I'm here for. You yeah. feel me? I'm just here to continue to run these laps and make my bro proud, man. Because mm -hmm. I know that's what he want me to do. He ain't want a nigga to lay down and cry. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He want a nigga to gas up and oh, keep mamas. going. Oh, mamas. You feel I me? feel like you've been dropping hella more music. I'm going crazy. You've been bro. dropping the most you ever been dropping, huh? And then, look, when the bar drop, I'm about to go even crazier. When the bar drop, I drop. Jan mm -hmm. January 1st. Oh, that's when you drop. Album again. No, 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 no. I'm dropping the what? November 22nd. An album? Yeah. yeah. You got then another you one after that? Band, that's definition of success. Yeah. Yeah. That's the that's the final chapter. Me and Nip, we had a conversation about, you know, what what what, what my album name should be. Yeah. Just based on the songs, you feel me? And he like definition of pain, loyalty, sacrifice, and mm -hmm. success. I'm like, shit, I'm running all four of them. So mm -hmm. you starting with that one or are you ending with that one? No, I'm ending it with that's him, yeah. That's fire. Yeah. That's fire. And then you're going to yeah. drop again January? January again. An album? An album, yeah. How many songs? I'm dropping a, uh, I'm dropping an album every month next year. I love 12 that. albums next year. I love year. that. As an independent artist, I love that. You feel me? Yeah. Because like, cause this is the thing. Like, I want to outwork everybody. Yeah. And how do you outwork everybody? Do the you work. You feel me? You do the work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. and put it out too. Don't don't do a hundred songs. Don't be sitting up there talking about you got a hundred songs and you been having them motherfuckers sitting up. I don't want to hear that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Put that shit out. You feel me? Yeah. Put put that shit out, bro. Oh, mama. I feel ended. personally attacked. <laughs> <laughs> no, why? but that's why he's saying that. You got songs in the cut that you ain't. I'm a Virgo, yeah. so I'm a perfectionist. Like yeah. OCD, everything is super neat. Everything is super yeah. my way, right? Yeah. So like when I hear one thing that I don't like or if I think it's slightly mediocre, yeah. I don't want it. Yeah. So I have I feel a lot you, of you got to be like that, but don't let that shit. No, stop it's you. it's too much how I do it. Everybody tells me, bro, drop it. It's fire, and I'm like, it's not fire enough. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to have a hundred. Well, you know songs. your shit. You yeah. know your shit. Like I personally don't want to have a hundred songs, just like a long discovery. I want to have bangers. Like I want to have songs mm -hmm. that meant something. Mm -hmm. I want. I don't want to just 
be waves in the water. I so want the you, whole ocean. You shooting for? <laughs> are you shooting for a hit and not a catalog? I'm not shooting for nothing. Uh-huh. But when I do drop, I want it to be significant because mm-hmm. right. I'm obsessive. Yeah, right. yeah, so. I feel you. One thing I I learned about that though, like um, even just doing comedy, just you know. Uh, putting out jokes, putting out hella material, putting out hella material. It's like once they catch on, though, all your shit just go up yeah, everything. Sure. You feel for me? Sure. And it's just like, sure. and that's how people like become hardcore fans too, because it's like they might discover you in 2024, but then they didn't went back to 2017, 18, 19, and, and, the that shit. and it's like, nigga, I'm a hard fan yeah. today because you got to listen to hella shit. And I think there is the perfection is in the process and yeah. seeing the process. Oh, she started here and yep. then she moved here. That's a masterpiece. Yep. Yeah, like you, your yeah. elevation is process. Process is right. perfection. Yeah, because so. remember too, we're going into a new year. Mm-hmm. Your mind is constantly elevating. Everything mm-hmm. is elevating. Your music gonna be elevating. Mm-hmm. So you might not sound like them songs you got sitting up. You're right. So your journey That's is going. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah. You kind of want to put that shit out even. With it being um, not perfect, you feel me? Like mm-hmm. you can get to that. You know can what I mean? I like just just put that shit out because we ain't gonna know. Only you know that. Right. Yeah. The listener ain't gonna know. And once I learned that, I'm like, the listener That's ain't. So true. They not there. They don't know how the shit really supposed to sound. You can know I what ask I mean? you something? So, do you think that? Okay, because my mentality, I don't have a club mentality. Like yeah. the type of language you have to have to have a club banger. I don't have that language. I don't have that desire. I don't do clubs. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Like, so I don't have what you're listening to in the club. In Atlanta, you're not listening to Christina Mackey. Yeah. Cali, Mm -hmm. you're not really listening, you know? But, so I always say when I go to this, I'm not striving for a banger because a banger is considered a club hit. And that's me too. Like, I don't make club, I don't make club music. I don't make club bangers. You know what I mean? I make, I make shit that I feel like, um, I don't know. I be having shit to say, man. You got like, therapeutic music. Yeah, that's what I, I'm saying. Like, my shit is like release therapy. I be going through shit so low key. Do you feel like, like it's hurting or healing? Like, do you feel like it's like on the rod waving or do you feel uh, like it's... I mean, it helped it help for me, but I ain't know. I mean, I, I'm I'm not I'm not on no rod wave tip because like rod wave, he really give you that emotion right. you know what I mean yeah. like he gonna fuck around and make somebody crying he gonna fuck around and make somebody really jump off a building bro <laughs> so I mother. thought that nigga said he didn't wanna cry no more yeah. I don't wanna cry <laughs> like nigga I that nigga make you wanna get high eat yeah. hella snacks when you listen to the wrong way I still cry <laughs> you feel me like he gonna I fuck do around feel you on that. Really yeah. fuck around and make somebody uh, yeah I be telling my girl I fuck with right way but she fuck with him heavy she, I be like alright I'm getting Turn a little depressed off. Turn this shit off yeah, I'm trying to get some money all due respect you know I but, appreciate his process, yeah. but shit, I don't want to hear them violence. I, I thought think about that. Might that. Be some California living too. I thought we get about over that too. Fast. You know what I mean? So my music, my music used to be like that. Like I used to like <coughs> tell the coldest stories. You know what I mean? The shit that actually happened in my life, my childhood, my family shit, my family situation, and shit like that. You feel me? And you need that to get through it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then once I feel like I got over it, I'm like, all right, mm. this shit, this shit is off my shoulders now. You feel me? Like. Yeah. I can move on now. I can talk about some fly shit now. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I did you realize like you a lyricist? Shit. I believe I am. You a lyricist? Yeah. I, I didn't now, really I'm a West Coast it. lyricist, but see, the thing is, like, we don't have many lyricists over here. We got, we got, we got a chosen few. You feel me? But we don't have shout out many. Simba. Yeah, Simba, shout out Simba. Sure. We don't got many, but um, yeah, bro, I I, I believe that. Yeah, cause I got um, lyrics for sure. I really, I I've been really, really like impressed with your growth. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm like, cause I caught on. That I'm like, okay, I'm only hearing the verses on yeah. nips on nip albums yeah. and all money in tapes and all the shit. Yeah. But then I start listening as an individual. Just yeah. just on. I'm like. This nigga really saying you got you always have a lot of songs on tapes, yeah, and you really saying some on every yeah. song. Nigga be barn up, yeah. I'm like this nigga That's lyricist, right. yeah. So I be barn up, yeah. I Whether you like you. the song or not, like it's gonna be a bar on there that you gonna, yeah. 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 You feel me? I'm gonna say some shit on there, That's oh mama for sure, yeah. And I like, yeah. uh, I like how you title your songs, like you know some songs you be like. Um, I feel like Meek Mill do a good job at it. Nipsey did a good job yeah. at it. Some people like the title of the song matter. Yeah, it does. Because yeah. it's like, nigga, I just, I just go to that, 
that's number seven. Like, yeah, well, I exactly. like what that yeah. nigga yeah. laugh yeah. in pain. You like, yeah. all right, nigga, I like that nigga. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, like yeah, listen exactly. to it. And then it's like all your songs exactly. match Be your like title. that. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, I got an album called The Coldest Story Ever. You feel me? Like, so you know, I'm on there like telling stories and shit like that. It's like a book. So like, I got a song on there called Once Upon a Time. You mm-hmm. feel me? Because it go with the album. You feel me? But that's like one of my coldest songs. On there that fit with the album, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's how you that's how you get like a real fan base. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers really feel like they know you, and yeah, I they gotta like, connect with your story. Yeah, yep. yeah. To yeah. who you who you are as a person, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's one thing I learned, like with just uh, comedy. You know what I'm saying? And, and just just being an artist in general, like you really got to open up. Like, the shit you kind of nah, be like, you do, for fake, sure. embarrassed to say, like, bro, like, just say I know so shit. much about you through your music. Just, yeah, you know how so your mom go, passed away. Exactly. And you feel me? You, your pops in and out of your yeah. life and all type of shit to the point. It's like, this nigga, not, that's not making you a real nigga, but yeah, it's nah, hell but other like, shit. It's hell, like, yeah, this nigga like, a real nigga, bro. Yeah, because <laughs> they look, bro, they look at the success, bro, and they don't really, they don't look at, like, really what it took to get here, bro. Mm-hmm. They don't know, they don't know that a nigga was uh, homeless, a nigga didn't have no moms around, you feel me? Like, auntie, like, you know what I mean? I go to jail, my auntie didn't come get me, nigga. They send a nigga off to a group home and shit like that, you feel me? So, yeah. I yeah, got I think a good, on one song you said you got arrested, you went to jail for running away from a group home? I went, all right, so I AWOL from a, from a, from a placement, you know what I mean? Got shot and went to the hospital. They put the cuffs on me, took me to jail, and sent me to another group home. Damn. Yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah, nigga, you lived yeah. a thug bro, life. I, I, had a, I had a shit bag. I had a colostomy bag. You mm-hmm. feel me? I don't even think I ever told this story on no what? platforms. You feel nigga, me? Like this thug mansion. Yeah, thug mansion, baby. You feel me? <laughs> like I had a I had a shit bag, literally. Like, you oh, know what I mean? Like, nigga, I went, I went in juvenile hall with a colostomy bag. Fresh from the hospital. I ain't even make it home, bro. I ain't even make it home, bro. I got shot. I my PO come and visit me. She like, uh, yeah, you know you weren't supposed to be getting shot. I'm like, yeah, I know, but like, yeah. come on, nigga, can't get a victim of crime or yeah, nothing. Like, get in trouble for getting shot. Yeah, like, uh, I'm like, all right, look, whatever you do, because I see I look in your eye. I'm like, look, whatever you do, just don't send me to camp. You know what I mean? Like, cause I, I, I ain't want to go to camp. I'm shot up. Like, man, send me back to a placement so I can be on the streets and you know what I mean, that do what bad. I gotta do. You feel me? But. Nigga, she she sent the nigga to camp. I think I gave her an idea, bro. She sent me to camp with my bag, nigga. I'm in camp squabbling niggas in a quartermaster room with my bag. Luckily, none of them niggas snatched it off, though. Yeah, you, you just stanked up the room. For sure. Uh, <laughs> I used to do that shit, too. I used to open the bag up, let the, you feel me? We had a monster teacher, bro. She used to be on some bullshit. My homie from Compton used to be like, Stone, let it rip. I used to open that motherfucker. She used to be like, what the fuck is that smell like? What? We used to, we used to, yeah. That's out of yeah, pocket. Yeah, hell out of pocket. You feel That's me? That's hell, hell out of pocket. pocket. <laughs> yeah, I was young, nigga, fifteen. Yeah, you was fifteen. Bro? Yeah, I was, I was fifteen, bro. Sixteen. Bro, you been through hella shit. Sixteen. That's bro. a no pun intended. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Hella shit. Damn, bro. <laughs> yeah. Damn, right. bro. That's crazy, bro. You got a right. hell of a story, bro. Like, like you can touch people that been through that same shit. You too. Feel me? Yeah. And only people that been through that can touch them people. Exactly. I can't say shit, nigga. Yeah. I ain't been no group on none, yeah, none of that shit. So yeah. I'm just talking, them nigga. Yeah. yeah, that nigga funny, but I don't feel that nigga high. I yeah. feel Jay Stone. Nah, for sure. <laughs> But I know some funny motherfuckers that been through that shit too, bro. That's what made, that's what got them up out of that shit, man. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like, yeah. they kept believing. I kept going. I'm like, nigga, I know life fucked up right now, but I don't think it's going to be fucked up forever. You feel me? You young, bro. We got, we be thinking we going to die at 20 or something, sure. bro. We be thinking when we 15, like, nigga, life is finna pass us by, bro. Or, nigga, we ain't nah, got that much sure. time, bro. But, nigga, we got time to figure it like out. On some, uh, like, on some, like, it's kind of odd, but I kind of feel like the younger, like, my teenage, early 20s, not when you say early 20, teenage years, yeah. I kind of feel like I had a higher chance of dying in a sense than now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know saying? what I'm saying? You like, I don't like, even be around hella crazy I'm shit like, like damn, that. I'm like, damn, I made it this far. Like, man, like. That's that's what's up, bro. Like you feel me? Cause a lot of people didn't make it, my nigga. So it's a blessing, bro, to be doing what I'm doing right now. So I salute anybody that ain't been through any anything. You know what I mean? Not even shit that I've been through. You've been through anything. Like you didn't got through it. The progress. 
that's the definition of success right there. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, not for real. Hey, check it out. It's your boy Lewis Belt. Bay Area. You know I had to end the tour in the motherfucking Bay. San Francisco, California. Cobb's Comedy Club, December 14th. Get your tickets. Louisbelt.com. I'm bringing Sonny Bo. The whole tour, y'all been asking me, when you coming to the bank? When you come? I'm coming. I'm already here. I'm just, eh, I'm here. I'm near. You know what I'm talking about? Get your tickets. You know what I'm talking about? Be there. I'll be a motherfucking square. I'll see y'all in a minute. Thank y'all love everybody. Hey, you, you said you went down. Uh, how was your experience meeting uh, niggas from other places like like the Bay Area? I know a lot of L.A. niggas and Bay niggas man, meet in jail. Man, look, man, listen, man, like, knowing Bay Area niggas in, in jail, you feel me? Because, like, we swap CDs and shit after a while. You feel he me? We be y'all like, not clean. That's we be like, we be like, we be like, in jail. what y'all niggas listening to, he man? Y'all niggas only listen to Bay shit, bruh. Yeah. I call y'all bruh bruhs. Oh, mama's bruh. Yeah, how, did, yeah, bruh. How, how, how did you feel when, uh, when a bay nigga called you blood? Because, you know, we don't game, man. We don't mean but, no but more. See, but see, I already know this. You feel me? Uh -huh. So, like, I already know, like, a nigga blood me and cuss me in the same sentence. You yeah. feel me? But a nigga never did it, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I just know because I heard niggas... Do it to other, but the only nigga that did do it was Mr. Fab. And I, I think he did. I, I think he did it on purpose just to see. Like he he knew I was cribbing. Like he knew I was cribbing, but he like I'm gonna say cuz and blood. Like yeah, cuz you feel me? Like yeah, ain't nothing same old thing. Blood, you feel me? Like, but I know what it is. You feel me? So I can't be a nigga and be like, bro, watch your mom, nigga. You don't know. Like you feel me? Only a nigga that know what he doing. Yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can check and be like, bro, watch your mouth. You know what you're saying, bro. You are in the presence of a real, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Oh my. But nah, like the Bay Area shit, nah, bro. Like nah, man. I got niggas from Frisco, Oakland, my oh, nigga mama. Richmond. Like you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, got that's a question. Hollywood. I don't know nothing about this, so excuse mm -hmm. me. But can you get in trouble for saying what side you're <laughs> representing, like out um, loud? Um. Depend on who you are, man. You know what I mean, you, you, know, you gotta have juice around you. You gotta be a P. You gotta be a P. You gotta be a P. You don't talk about you gotta keep it P, man. Yeah. But is there a way to clean that up? Like, if that's a good question, though. I never you thought know, of that. Um, a legally, person that don't know. No, like legally, like like if like if somebody was after you and you said it on a podcast, could that get you in trouble? Nah, man. I mean, in, unless you incriminate yourself. I mean, you know, we ain't on here incriminating ourselves. But saying that we you know are what it of is. A, of a we know, side. I mean, I mean, I didn't, I didn't been in jail already. Right. You know what I mean? Like, they know already. Like, oh, I'm mama, in the system. Like, I've been, anyway. I didn't been on the gang injunction, bro. Like, I was honestly. That's curious. a good question, yeah, though. Yeah, no, I didn't been. Yeah, I didn't been on the gang injunction. So it's like it, you know, we ain't got to clean it up. It ain't like I'm saying something that's you know what I mean. No, I'm you send a nigga off to jail, but. I had been on the gang injunction before, bro, so they know, you know what I mean? Like, they know for sure. Yeah. I ain't on it no more, Yeah, though. so they know, and the city know, the so city I know. can say that. Yeah, you feel me? And I've been, li I been living this long, you feel me? Like, if it was going to happen, it would have been happening, mm -hmm. for sure. They not saying not thing. saying that it ain't, but, like, I didn't, I didn't, I, I, I know a lot of real ones. I grew up with a lot of, um niggas that you would consider ops, you know what I mean, or enemies and shit like that. Like, I didn't, I didn't been in jail with these niggas. I didn't went to school with these niggas. So when they see me now, it's like, it's a whole different, they ain't trying to get me. You feel me? I ain't trying to get them. We didn't already fought. We didn't already, you know what I mean? You already, are, the foundation's already laid. Yeah. The respect is already there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we ain't, we ain't out here trying to knock each other heads off right now. You feel me? Yeah. Like, yeah, I feel like game banging is different. I don't know too much about it in the culture and all that. I know a little, little something. I something. just feel like the age difference because, you know, I, I was 15 before. Uh -huh. I was 13, 14. You know what I mean? Turned up, you know what I mean, with the shit. Like, you feel me? So, I already know how it is when it when, when it is, when, when it's somebody 14, 15, 16 ready to, you know what I mean, get their stripes off, bro. They, they kind of, like, got the same mentality. So, it's kind of like, it's just getting passed down, bro. But it got to be somebody, you know what I mean, like, with some sense to really, like, guide them now, bro, instead of, like, yeah, that's cool, go rob that, go go hit this lick, go do this, go do that. Like, nah, bro, go go play some sports. What you good at? You know what I mean? Like, 
Oh, all right. Well, nigga, go be. A, you want to be a lawyer, nigga? Go be a lawyer. The homies need to start pushing niggas to be doctors and lawyers. You feel what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's all they need to be, bro. Just a couple homies is just even encouraging them to do it. Like, you just know even what say good. that it's okay. Yeah. Throw a nigga a few dollars, right? Yeah, for doing good at something. A yeah. few words, shit. Oh, nah, yeah. words ain't enough no, when you yeah, ain't got no money. They are because when nobody's telling you that it's okay to be what you want to be, yeah. you think that it's not okay. But no, but I, I think motherfuckers do be telling you, you could be every, you could be whatever you want to be and do this but it's like nigga give me some money yeah like no, you telling sure. me i could be a lawyer like, nigga, you telling nigga, me i'm gonna get paid like, when nigga, i'm 35 me, like you feel me like because i've been rapping since i was like seven eight years i'm eight years old handing my tapes out you mm. know what i mean like i'm passing my tape out like my auntie gave me the karaoke machine like nigga go like get cracking you feel me and um nigga how old I'm, are you now i'm uh i'm 37 okay. right now you feel me so, you know, I've been passing my shit out then, you feel me? And like, um, that's 30 you know, years. Yeah, you that feel me? Like, the years. homie, the homies knew that I was rapping. They knew I was hard, but did nobody take me to the studio? Then nobody was like, nigga, yeah, we're going to put you in this, put you in that. I would have been made it, you feel me? Cause and you would have been probably fuck around now and went to jail and all you type feel of shit. Me? Like, I wouldn't have yeah. never did none of, the, none of the shit I did if, exactly. if niggas put money in my pocket for the things that I have passion for. Yeah. Niggas be, everybody be saying, do this and do that, bruh. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I would have been a comedian if niggas started giving me money for being funny. Yeah. I would have never did none of this shit I got in trouble for. Only niggas in the hood <laughs> gave me studio time was my homie Scatterbrain and Nip. Like, shout out to Scatterbrain. Yeah. You feel me? Like, he let me record at a studio when a nigga got shot and shit. Like, I was on the streets. He'd be like, nigga, pull up to the studio. Like, rap. Like, I'd be in the studio, like, That's majority funny. of my time. Like, That's young, wrong. though. Like, nigga, I'm a, fug I'm a little fugitive, nigga. Like, I know they looking for me. Like, I'm on a run from placement. Like, nigga. Yeah. You feel me? But, like, nigga, I'm still making tapes, though. Like, I got a lot of old shit, bro. Do you think hip-hop saved more lives or ruined more lives? It's a 50-50 thing, man. But, uh... Mm -mm. Nah, I can't even say that, bro. Be I honest. Nah, I can't. Be honest. Because, I mean, it saved, it saved more niggas than it did, like, hurt them, bro. Because this shit, bro, they didn't think this shit was going to last this long, bro. They didn't think hip-hop was going to last this long. They thought this shit was something that was just a fad, like a phase, bro. Like, you know what I mean? It just kept elevating. It kept growing. It kept growing, bro. And here we are, my nigga. We still even, like... You can look at the pioneers, the OGs too, like where they at, like you know what I mean. They had to go through certain shit, and now you know what I mean. A lot of them niggas is billionaires now. You feel me? It, yeah. it took a not little a time. Not a lot of them. It's not only like three. Well, niggas. not a lot. Well, yeah, think but nigga, that's effect. a lot, nigga. Cause think about it, bro. Like, nigga, you you got one on the east, you got one on the west. Uh -huh. You feel me? You uh, well, we got somebody on the south. That's a billionaire. No. Nah. I don't think Almost, so. Almost though. No. Almost, <laughs> nah, but yeah, shit. nah, Birdman, that nigga. Come got on, chicken. man, yeah, come on, man. That's that what I'm saying. So yeah. it's like you know, a lot, a lot of us didn't really get the chili until we was like 40 and 50, 30 mm -hmm. and shit like that. Some of us got it late, bro. Some of us get the knowledge late. Some of us get the game late. Some of us get it early, though. Yeah, some niggas get it early. So you know, I always look at my journey and be blessed. Of my journey, bro, like, even though I feel like I could have made it earlier and shit like that, because the nigga Ben Talented, you feel me, like, back in the days when it was thirsty. They was looking for talent, nigga. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. any new thing that came out, yeah. they was eating it up. You know what I mean? Now it's kind of oversaturated, you feel me? Yeah. But, you know, I just I just stuck to it, bro. And I had homies that, you know, that, 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 that uh, wanted to see a nigga win, you feel me, that didn't, like, Shade a nigga on this on this on this uh oh, music shit. You Christina, me? you was shaking your head. When, mm, when. I think it hurt more people because you got to think about the ripple effect. Like the people that are winning are winning, but the people that lost um lost hard because. So think about the drug rappers, right? Yeah. Like there's, I know a clique of people who only do drugs because their favorite rapper does drugs. Yeah. Like And they're young. And yeah. then I know somebody who overdosed on drugs because all he listens to is insert name here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like it. The people that it but it's like it choices did. too though I feel it's like choices and I think everybody's responsible choices. for their own actions and mm -hmm. I'm not your mother I don't have to get on like I'm not raising your children so if this is what they listen to this because I feel like to. you can't go to heaven or you can't be at the gates and and tell God be like hey man the devil made me do it man you, know what I mean? like, <laughs> you gotta have some accountability the devil made me do it and they can't be like hey man I've been I was listening to little peep and uh 
uh, Lil Xan and them yeah. niggas, and I popped the Xan. You feel me? Like, I know, I know what you're saying. You feel me? But like, I think that hip hop could have like been more can be. Let me not put it in the past, but no. I but think this it shit definitely influenced. This shit yeah. definitely influenced. This hip hop is yeah. imp- it's crazy. influential. Like I'm not even going. I'm not even going to hold you though. Like even though it's all about choices, but this music shit we, is. We're, we're, we're the music reason music for the shit, style. Bro. We're God. the reason music for fashion. Yeah. We're the reason for. We just strong individuals. Hip hop yeah. you know? always <laughs> been the streets. Hip hop always was rooted deeply in the streets so it was like whatever style that we was doing in the streets you know that's what I mean how the way we fashion. was rocking our hats the way we was that was all hip hop you feel me and yeah. then they took it to the Make to the industry fashion. yeah and made it and made it and made it something so now that they know that you feel me they can put your favorite rapper yeah. in this outfit right there and he know that it's going yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. so that's that you know that, that game ain't never changed you feel what I'm saying so yeah. They programming motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it hurts yeah. more people, for sure. Yeah. But yeah. I, I love you it. You got to yeah. be strong. If you're not strong, it's cookies. Just like Menace of Society, man. You know how many people, man, that movie fucked up, man, as kids watching that shit, That man, shit inspired thinking, like, you niggas in L.A.? I mean, no, nah, because this is what we see when we go outside. Yep. You feel me? Uh-huh. But, like, watching Menace of Society, it made the young niggas, like, you know, like, Nigga, you ain't as hard as old dog, oh, nigga. You a nigga. sucker, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mama, me? Yeah, like, I always wanted to be like Mitch or Payton yeah, Fool. Exactly. Mitch I was never, the, I didn't think I was going to grow up be a comedian. I thought I was going to be just like Mitch. Yeah. Like, nigga, the whole, you ain't got to worry about Jealous Cats, baby. Yeah. I just wanted to be that nigga. Yeah, for so sure. So that shit do got big yeah. influence. Yeah. Oh, mama. Yeah, that's but see, you Mitch place. in your own way, you feel me? Another nigga might look at you and look at you as the Mitch. You exactly. feel what I'm saying? I want to grow so, up yeah. yeah. Yeah, hell sure. yeah! Now I got niggas popping they peas. Niggas wasn't, you know, you understand me? Come on, huh? Come yeah, on. man. Yeah, Mitch of this new generation around yeah. this motherfucker P. Nah, yeah, facts. nah. We I hate your punch. ism. Hey man, it's you know what good, I'm talking about? Yeah, I hate it. so many people love it. Somebody gotta hate it around this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about Don't yeah, make baby. Me to, I love everybody. Yeah, I love everybody. <laughs> nah, Jay yeah, Stone, is, man. man. I appreciate you sliding through, bro. You feel me? It's, it's an honor for you to come through this thing, man. man it's a pleasure pulling up, man. Fuck with my player partner, man. My player partner, man. God damn it, no me. Yeah, yeah. Pizza. Come yeah. on, P. Yeah. You know what I'm we got to yeah. keep it low key. Yeah, we got to keep it pink. Yeah, At all time. You got anything you want to promote before you get up out of here? Uh, album, mm-hmm. Definition of Success, November 22nd. Um, Shit, tap in, man. Tap if you ain't in. tapping in, you tapped out. You tapped man. out, goddamn it. Straight me. up, man. J Stone, all money in, we in the building. All man. money in. Let's get it, man. Louis Bell, Christina Mackey. We Louis out Bell, this Bell, Christina Mees. Yeah. <laughs>